Welcome back to another edition of the Western Officiating Branch Partnership. Today we're going to discuss some of the roles and responsibilities of the linesmen. Linesmen play an important role on the officiating team, not only through their judgment and awareness, but through their communication and game intel to ensure the referees have the best opportunity for success. In the first topics, we discuss face-offs, icings, and offsides. We'll hear from an NHL linesman and take a look at various examples of each. That's, that's you, that's, that's, that's our bread and butter is our, is our face-offs. And uh, we want to conduct the face-offs that are fair. They're not always going to be perfect. There's a, 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 I couldn't even tell you the last time I've seen a perfect face-off. But if, if we can get them fair, consistent, um, face-offs are a critical part of the game now. It's, it's, a, it's possession of the puck, and that's, that's what the whole game is about, is possession of the puck. And these guys are so good on their face-offs, we need to be as good on our, on our face-offs as they are on theirs. Once we've dropped the puck, um, take a quick look back over your shoulder, see where the players are coming in from behind. Sometimes our best position is not even moving at all. Stay right where you are, keep your skates planted. Your, your, your base of support is best when it's both skates are on the ice. Now when it's safe to, to exit, the, exit the zone, a couple, couple C cuts back towards the, uh, towards the boards, going in the opposite direction of which way the puck is moving, and then C cut back to the uh, back to the blue line. Our first example, the linesman does a really good job to sit the players behind them, sit the players in front of them, fair face off. The official takes the time to find a lane to exit the zone and does so skating backwards so keep the puck and all the players in front of the linesman. The important things are here we use our vocal, we talk to the players to set them up behind us, to set them up in front of us, drop the puck, and have a really nice exit from the zone. Our second example of face-offs, Lineman does a good job vocally to talk to the players behind, in front, and the centerman. The play stays on the same side of the ice. The linesman does a good job to go into the corner. When there's time, exits the zone up the wall, keeping the play in front by skating backwards. Important things are again, we use our voice to set up the face-off. We don't rush out of the zone. We find an avenue that's safe and we exit skating backwards. In our third example, again, the official uses vocals to set up the players behind, players in front, bring the centerman in, drop the puck. We recognize early that there's an avenue to exit the zone in a safe manner, going backwards and keeping the players and the puck in front of us. Linesman does a good job. Again, the key highlights for us here, we're using our voice, we're finding an avenue that's safe, and exiting, going backwards to see the play. I, I think that, that one call that we have, that, that there is some judgment to it. Um, offsides, it's, it's obviously black or white. I think there's a little bit of judgment to it. So um, the, key with, the key with the icing is, is being connected to the play the entire time. Seeing it from the point that the puck is released off the stick, being aware of the on-ice strength of the, of the teams, following the play all the way through the ice. Don't, don't ever disconnect from it. Uh, watch what's going on with the goaltenders. Uh, the goaltenders coming out, uh, you know, being being aware right from right from the start of the play to the end of the play. And and with the speed of the game now, and with how quick the the shot happens and deflections can happen, you need to stay connected. Our first example of icing: the front line who doesn't stop the blue line, recognizes that icing has been initiating, works hard to stay connected to the play and get down towards the goal line to have a good sight line to call icing. The important component here is the line has worked hard to get down towards the goal line and have a good view of the play. Example number two, the back linesman has done a good job to recognize the puck is shot from behind the red line. And if you watch the bottom part of your screen, the back linesman has worked hard to come up to his partner's blue line to cover for him, as the front linesman engages in the race and goes down to the goal line to make the call. Important parts here is the back linesman moving up towards his partner's blue line for support, and the hustle of the front linesman to get down towards the goal line. In this example, the white team shoots the puck down the ice. The back official on the far side of the ice initiates icing and works up to the blue line to protect his partner. The front linesman recognizes there's no tip, gets engaged in the race, works hard to get to the goal line to have a good sight line to make the call. Keys for us here, again, working hard to get to our partner's blue line to cover and the front linesman working hard to get down to have a good sight line at the goal line. 
this example, the linesman does a good job to move inside the blue line to have an avenue to see across. As the play breaks out, moves towards the play, the play goes past, looks back into the zone to check to make sure everything's okay, follows the play up, and when the whistle goes, works hard to get down for any potential scrum or hot spots. So the important points for us in this one are we're inside the blue line to create an angle to see the play. We work the blue line as the puck comes back towards us. We check behind us to make sure everything's okay back there. And then we work hard up the ice to put ourselves in a position. So if we had to cover for our partner, we could. Or we can get into the scrum or the hot spots a little bit faster. In this example, the linesman's led the play, gone just inside the blue line to create an angle to see if it's offside or not. Once the play has passed, we move outside the zone to need to watch the play. So the important parts here are we've created an angle to see across the blue line and we've worked the blue line. We haven't been stationary. In this example, the linesman, who has bumped close to his partner's blue line to help cover, recognizes the play is breaking out. He uses good crossovers to keep his body towards the play, eventually turning backwards to get to his blue line, just inside the blue line to get a good angle and make the call. Ideally, we're moving backwards as much as we can through the neutral zone. In this case, with a quick turnover, we had to use our crossovers very effectively. In this example, we show both linesmen and how they ebb and flow with the play, moving up and back, in and out, to create sight lines, and momentum for when they need to move. The important things to note here, the linesman backward skates towards the blue line as it comes towards. The linesman on the far side moves towards the red line a little bit to create some space for the green team to go past. In this example, the linesman on the far side recognizes there's a stretch pass and needs to work very hard to get to the blue line. Delayed offside, arm goes in the air. What's really important here is that we use our voice and our vocals to alert the red team that they're offside. In this example, the white team passes the puck from deep in their own end to the far blue line. So what's important here is the linesman in the front reads the play, reacts to the play, and puts himself in a good position on the blue line to make a good call. So the really important notes on ones like this is to read and react and get to the blue line on time. In this example, the white team's dumping the puck in. The linesman on the far side has done a good job to create a good sight line just inside the blue line, recognizes that it's a delayed offside, and when the white team gets there, he blows the whistle. So important points here is recognize this is delayed offside, and the linesman's done a great job to create sight lines. In this example, the front linesman, on the far side of the ice, skates backwards, keeping the players in front, just inside the blue line, to create a good angle to make a good call. Partner on the near side of the ice comes up the ice to provide support in case the official on the far side gets pushed in. Some great examples of some important aspects of being a successful linesman. Now we're going to talk about awareness and the important role it plays for both the linesman and for the officiating team. We talk about awareness, we talk about both during play and throughout stoppages. Good awareness gives the linesman the opportunity to position themselves in the right areas during stoppages. It also allows the linesman an opportunity to provide input and insight to their officiating team during the course of a game. Being able to identify problem players, potential hotspots, and diffusing those situations leads to a safe environment for all participants in the game. Let's hear from our partners with the National Hockey League and the Western Hockey League. There's a lot of times in, uh, in the hockey game Somebody comes out, takes liberties with somebody else. Those are uh, acts that need to be acknowledged. So you have to be aware, especially as a linesman, to make sure that you arrive at those hot spots or keep an eye on those players to keep the game participants safe. Seeing everything, seeing everything in real time, uh, knowing uh, the situation, and uh, reacting uh, accordingly. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing! There's no bigger component on the lining side of the, uh, of the job description as an official as to being aware of the situation at all times. Stop! Hey, we got it! Stop, 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 stop. 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 A, a, a linesman has a heightened sense of awareness and is great at the job. He doesn't react to the situation unfolding in real time at that moment. He is actually reading it Two plays ahead. Linesmen to referees, talking to the referee when you're on the line. You see the last one? You see that last one? The trip? What do you think? Watching the play down deep. Hey, this guy's on the ice. He's coming on the ice. He's next up. A linesman who's really aware in his job and as good as his job reads the play 
He's ahead of the play, the pass, where it's going to go, the, the altercation, who the two players, those, that kind of a component in, in a young official is uh, super critical. It is, it is the, defini the definition of a good linesman and a great linesman is his ability and his awareness that he has out in the game. Some really good points in how important it is to have awareness as a linesman. Great linesmen have the ability to diffuse situations, communicate effectively with players and coaches, and in the end, a great linesman enhances the game by making the referee's job easier. These are all great skills to work on in your upcoming games. We wish you the best of luck in your upcoming games, and we'll see you soon.